Today we are checking out some of the festivals and events of Taranga. So we're still just on the parking lot, right? And Laura is already taking pictures. I mean, it's a beautiful owl. Probably a Mopok, New Zealand native dwarf owl. But she's already taking pictures. That's outrageous. That was probably some street art that we forgot on our street art crawl the other day. So check out in the cards above to see what that was all about. But anyway, we are at the street food festival in Toranga and we are checking out some of the popular events. First up, there is the bomb contest. Yes, you heard that right. Bombing is basically jumping in the water and trying to make the biggest splash possible. And it's apparently one of the most famous kiwi pastime. In short, this is giving an award to the fattest kid in the crowd. After the competition is finished and this trophy is given to the winner, we are moving on toward what we are here for. It's food. There is heaps of food at this food truck or street food festival and there is actually way too much for us to choose from. So we are taking the time to stroll around first, check out every single one of the booth before we pick what is going to be our meal. The food truck festival is taking place in the city centre of Taranga on the Strand, which is this piece of waterfront which is really awesome, it's backed with restaurants, there's walkways, even a few sculptures to check out, but we're super glad that we're here today to check out the food. There's about seven different food trucks here at the festival, and that's going from burgers, churros, Mexican kiwi fusion, more burgers, seafood and crepes. The atmosphere here is absolutely buzzing. It's such a cool summer feeling. Everyone's happy, the food trucks are bustling and there's so many amazing smells coming from every single one of them. It is making our decision to choose something to eat absolutely impossible. We finally decide that we want to have something sweet and we want to have something savory. So we decide to head to the crepes food truck where we do have one savory crepe and one sweet crepe. Delicious. Um, can we get a banana and chocolate crepe and the bacon, onion and mushroom please? Laura is playing a foodie pretentious right here by using the only French word that she knows. Sadly, it's bonjour and it has nothing to do with food, but at least she's polite, right? Anyway, the people in the food truck are doing us an amazing crepe right here. They're filling it up with Nutella and bananas and mine is going to be with bacon, mushrooms and a ton of onion because, you know, French food, onions, it has to go together, right? Because there is so many people around, we decide to find ourselves a place a little bit quieter to eat our food and we are heading toward the waterfront. We find ourselves a nice flat rock and turns out that we are in prime position to watch the next event of the day which is a dragon boat race. To be honest, we had no idea what dragon boat racing was when we first sat down to watch this event but it turns out that it is large canoes racing on the water and it's pretty fun to watch and apparently there's loads of teams all around New Zealand so this is a pretty popular spot to check out. It kind of reminds us of the time where we've seen waka, which are Maori canoes, being paddled down the various rivers and lakes around New Zealand. One time we saw it on Waitangi Day in O'Kane's Bay. We'll link up to the cards above to check that out because that's really awesome. And another time we saw it at the Tamaki Maori village in Rotorua. Again, we'll link it up in the cards above because you should definitely check those out. It's a tight race, but to be honest, we don't know which one wins because we are too busy stuffing our faces with crepes. Toranga has loads of events like this one where you can try the local delicacies at food trucks. For instance, there's the farmer's market which happens every single week in Toranga, every Saturday from 8am to 12pm on 5th Avenue if you want to find it. Moving on from the festivals, we are taking a short digestive walk away from the food truck festival and stumble upon Josh Powell, which is doing a live concert right in the middle of the waterfront of Taranga. It's really cool and some of the locals really look like they're enjoying it. I really like the feel of this whole place and it continues as soon as we arrive back at our hostel, the Pacific Coast Lodge, where it's an open mic night at the hostel. And tomorrow we are heading on the water to check out a super pod of dolphin that I don't know is going to be here, so surprise!